Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to our uh, YouTube channel. So guys, in this afternoon, I will show you a refactoring of uh, my code. My code, uh, I think if you watch my previous video, I have uh, uploading or downloading this APT uh, code base using WinSAP. Now, as you can see in my screen, I am just uh, refactoring it and I am implementing or I am using factory redesign pattern. So uh, basically, uh, there's nothing wrong, but it's just uh, making your code uh, more flexible in the future changes to adapt future changes. So I also implement here uh one of the principle of solid principle so the single responsibility principle so if you're familiar with solid principle eh, the single responsibility principle state that each class should have its own purpose so in our previous uh ipp uploader class we have this ipp util as you can see here it's a class of the class is big, very big enough, so there's an upload file to FTP, and there's is a boolean is FTP. So in this part, there's an option. If it is is it will be used is FTP normal or is FTP. So this is why in our code below here there is an if condition. So if it's it's FTP, it will use this protocol. So. In our refactoring, we remove this if condition. So because although this works fine, there's no problem with it. But in the near future, if there are lots of changes, uh, uh, having a lot of if condition inside your class is uh, not good implementation. That's that's according to the solid principle as well. So that is why in our factory design pattern. I have created a single class for uploading using normal FTP and I have also created a class for specific for uploading a secured SFTP, SFTP. and uh, I implement factory design pattern so that when you call that class, when you see, when you call a certain method, say for example upload, it doesn't matter or the client don't know if it's going to use FTP or SFTP. So I am going to show you the code so you will understand, right? So this is the abstract class that I have created. This is just a refactoring, guys. So nothing wrong with the previous code. So this, I created an abstract class. I called it this FTP uploader. So this is just for uploading. And then, of course, the uh, abstract class is should have a uh, app design abstract method so that is why we have the upload file and it has a parameter of file info in FTP folder so as you can see here we already removed one part of the previous one parameter which is it is this one is FTP okay. all right so that's that's one thing and then of course uh this is an abstract class it should be implemented. So I have here the WinSCP because we are using here the FTP client with this WinSCP. Okay. So in the near future also, if we have another client to be used in uploading, like for example, uh, we have FileZilla like that. So we can easily just add the code. There is no it condition or there is no other thing that you have to do, but you have just to add another class specific for uploading the using the FileZilla like that. So this is part two. In this case, in this case, we are using WinSCP. So if we are going to upload in a normal FTP, so we just created a cluster WinSCP uploader and it inherit the this FTP uploader. So it override the upload file method. So this part, as you can see here, the protocol is FTP because this is FTP, right? So yeah, 
actually there's something wrong with this oh uh, yeah of course this one is not really needed this one uh yeah then i can pick xml so this either no value or that it doesn't matter because this is a tp it will not use the post keeping reference okay so basically this is the code for uploading ftp and then we have that's what we call single responsibility principle so nothing 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 will do for that as it's only upload to ftp it will not upload to is ftp okay so when we are going to upload to is ftp we created another task for that so when is ftp and it's also inherit the abstract class for ATP uploader and in this part as you can see the changes only is the protocol is now is FTP and we have to add the is source key fingerprint because it is a sync uh, secured is FTP we have to include as the credential the thing the secret or that we call it host key fingerprint this is a secret key okay that is more more secure in uploading so nothing new it's just the same it what just happened is that we just separate it in a different class so as you can study solid principle i think i already implemented the number one principle which is um is rp single responsibility okay so how, how are we gonna we use it in a calling program you, so you can just use it uh for example uh if you want to use ECTP or ECTP you can have also an if condition there in a client calling but we are going to avoid that we we are minimizing not to use it as condition in our client coding okay so because that if if there are lots of if condition meaning to say in the near future you will oh, modify that code something it can break for other for example there's a new version and that and the other old version is already running the production and we, something that is new will be implemented and it's all it will break your code base the production one whereas in using the factory pattern even if you add a new one new one this is also part of the solid principle but the existing one will not be affected so i will show you why so i i just use here the factory i created a folder factory so this is a simple factory design pattern implementation so i have a class here upload to so basically i have a static dictionary of type string and this uploader and this is the variable ftp and initialize it that like that and we have the ftp option method of static uh of this a type is basically the uploader so we have the string option so in this in this also part we are also implementing lazy loading design so what does it mean in lazy loading design it's basically if you are not going to load your classes if if it's already loaded that is why we have the condition here if tp that comes to zero that's the time that we are going to add to our dictionary so this part i just add in if tp that add if tp option when we use when is tp this is an enum that i i also added here so it cannot be an enum we just uh hard code it what i like to put in the enum so in the time that i need to add another for example filezilla well, Zilla, like that, I'll just add here. Yeah, just like that. And then in your, in your, here in the, in the factory, this one, you can just add here and you use the, the concrete class for uploading using FileZilla FTP. So for this one, if you want to upload uh, when ECP, uh, normal FTP, we have to call this class. If you want to use the is FTP, we have to call this class. So that is why a return option based on what is 
being supplied by the client and it will determine what class the concrete class that will do the job so your client doesn't know what class you are going to use because this is uh, very abstracted so uh, the client i will show you how why this is how we use in our uh, I, I have a unit is here. This is the unit is FTP. So this is the FTP unit is. So before we are just basically calling like this, the commented ones as this FTP until upload file to. So and then uh, what the option is inside this. Okay. But now I have here the uploader variable of type this FTP uploader. And I just set it to upload to what option. So I am using, for example, when is CP is FTP. So there's an A number here. You can just hard for it or not. But for me, I use it A num, So it will be more flexible or more defined that in that. I think anyone can add if I'm not adding it in A num. This is also for security code of your code. So your other developer cannot just easily add. Okay, so for example, if I use when if CP only, not the secured one, this means to say that when I see uploader, the upload file, this is the method in an abstract, it will use the class when if TP uploader, this one. Okay, that's that's the that's 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 how it goes. Okay. So, yeah. So, as you can see, when you see upload file, you didn't say that upload file to use uh, the secured one. You didn't say that upload file to the normal FTP. So, determine it. It is our factory pattern by setting this FTP option. And then it will determine which which concrete class or which job will do so that's that's the nicer of we because in this part this is if it, uh, for example this is the client when you say upload file they didn't know that he will use the, the class for which class will perform the job so that's it that that's that's the beauty of factory design pattern so uh, uh when it, I, I will show you how, how it so it goes, I will try to debug this. So this one we are using uh, normal FTP. So when we debug it, cause this one, let's pass through. You can see uh, we have, we are now in the factory, upload to class. So this part, uh, FTP option. So what we are being passed from the client is, the win is CP FTP. So we we uh, we load it. So what we're going to just do this only two. If you have another new class to be implemented or use, you can just add here. So nothing will change from the uh the the other part. You just this the only class that you need to change and you just add a new class. So you you are not I'm modifying an existing class, for example, the class for win is TP, FTP uploader, the class for win is FTP uploader. You're not going to modify it because once it is okay, there's no need to modify it, or else it will have a lot of issues in the future. So, it's because you know, if you are meaning the developers in the organization, so that's this is one thing that we are having to avoid. Yes, you can see that what's the option here is when I see FTP. All right, so when we go to the upload file, all right, because we added a new one, so I just yes. So see, it's going to use the class uh, FTP. So we just go through it and let's see if it works. See, it works. It's success. 
to its upload using the visible it was i oh, know it's true we have not yet it yet. so it's true it's already uploaded it was in 600 and uh, let's see. So, yeah. Oh, no, it's true. So it's already uploaded using the normal SFTP. Now, if we are going to use the other other uploading option, we just this distance the one to change in your client side. I use, for example, I will choose SFTP, the secure one like that. Okay. And then your upload file will now determine which class to be used using the factory design pattern okay. i will try to debug it to show it to you that we will be using another class the source file is different from the module was built would you like to debug to use it yes because we added another in the enum so it's so this one, as you can see, is used the plus win is CP is FTP. So as you can see here, the protocol now as is is FTP, not FTP. And there is a single friend key. Right? So it's different implementation. So what happened here? We are not we are just moving the what's this code here. In our previous one this is our code base before this if it be you tell you can see that we are just moving this part and here the condition we are segregating it in a different class okay and by the help of factory design pattern the client itself doesn't know what class or where the implementation is and that is the beauty why because in the near future for example there will be changes but the existing that they already upload in the production unit will never be goes wrong because you are not modifying the existing one you are just adding a new concrete class for a new implementation Alright guys, so that is uh, our new series or our new new refactoring for our code base to upload FTP uh, using WinSVP, but now we are using the factory design pattern to also the solid principle, single responsibility principle, and even the open cost principle is also re already implemented there. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you will be notified in the next video that we are going to upload soon. I hope you have learned something and if you have some recommendation, some suggestion or even a suggestion, please comment below and I will be happy to receive the feedback and together we'll learn as one. So happy learning guys. Bye.